Okay, so segment three, we talk about the, the three aspects or, or parts of this process of awakening. And the elements that are involved would be first a, a pathway or devotion that puts us into contact with the divine. So we would call this part of the process our the communion that we have, communion uh, with the divine, with spirit, with God, whatever words you would use. And whether your process involves prayer or meditation or reading or time in nature, there's many, many ways that this process of communion can be approached. And there's no one right way better than others. The important thing to know, though, is that in the process of communion, what we're learning is to become still. Stillness or spaciousness is a very important aspect or condition for communion. By quieting our self, by quieting the busyness of our mind, our, our egoic structure, we, we make ourselves more able to hear, to be attentive to this inner guidance, this voice that will always be working to guide us in our lives. So this level of communion is very essential for us to receive inner guidance. Now we can receive support and guidance from books or teachers or workshops and whatever. But all of those things really just trigger our own sense of inner guidance. We'll only respond to something we read or hear from someone else as we recognize it in ourself, as part of ourself. It'll excite us because it's, it's opening up, it's awakening within us a part of ourselves that is knowledge, okay, that is the sense of knowing, the sense of connection. So it's important to recognize that always, even though it appears at times that guidance is coming from outside, truly, always, in the end, the guidance is arising from within oneself. So we work on communion as a way of deepening our ability to be still, to be quiet, to open ourselves, to listen to, to feel uh, the presence of the divine, to, to to sense the guidance, and also to feel the sense of, uh, you know, what comes out of this communication is, is a sense of connection. Uh, so we don't feel alone in this process. And again, we do need angels with arms out there in the world. But to have the sense of uh, connection with, with the inner divine is a very essential part of our process. And all of us will have our own way that this develops over time in my story. You know, I can go on about how at first I had no interest in a God and then for a while God became a very big part of the, the process and even for a while in the early study of A Course in Miracles it took the form of Jesus and then later the Holy Spirit and then later yet it, it became more clear that this divine was really my own higher self, my own uh, awakened self that was simply calling to me to allow it to arise. So we'll all go through this process of, again, seemingly having projected the divine far away from ourselves to eventually bringing it right in to the heart center of who we are. So this is the first aspect of this process of awakening that needs to be addressed is communion. And at this point, I'll end our session three. Thank you.